right, so I probably should explain myself. It's been almost three weeks since you last heard from me, and there's a very good reason for that. So since last year, I've been working on my doctorate uh, degree in pharmacy. And though I got past the first of four years of pharmacy school, this second year is already proving to be very difficult. Since the start, we've been having quizzes and exams almost every day. In fact, these past three weeks have been nothing but studying and test taking, and weekends are just me knee deep in books and notes. So yeah, that's what's going on. I probably should have said something earlier, but as some of you guys know, I'm not the best communicator. Still, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me through all this, as things are only going to get harder for me from here on out. Right now, I'm playing catch up, so I'll upload the rest of Ronin as well as the complete playthroughs of Breakout and Bravo for NFS No Limits. And I've got some NFS World and Forza Horizon stuff to show you, but for now, we've got to look at two new Porsches and a fancy McLaren in Motorfest and see if we can finally start TDU Solar Crown. So stay tuned. <laughs> So we begin our catch up in the Crew Motor Fest by welcoming our newest custom exotic from McLaren and Liberty Walk. Let's be real here, despite this being Liberty Walk week, the performance brand itself has been making headway in the game. I mean, we've had the Liberty Walk versions of the M4 and the Supra for a while now. And next month, we'll all be able to get another special car from Cottesland Stable as a Liberty Walk Honda NSX will arrive as a prize car for completing Made in Japan Volume 2. Safe to say, we'll be enjoying lots of Liberty Walk from here on out. And obviously, this custom McLaren is no exception. Complete with its own custom wide body kit and active aero, as well as improved performance all around. Are we looking at the newest, fastest McLaren? Let's find out. The Liberty Walk McLaren 720S Spider is available in the shop for 1.8 million bucks, making it the game's first purchasable Liberty Walk alongside the Liberty Walk Edition GR Super, of course. It comes in three colors, but like the other three Liberty Walk cars, you can go crazy with the livery editor. So if you've got a better livery than the one I picked for this car, let me know. As far as parts customization goes, since the car is already well custom, the only parts you can customize are the rims and the color of the brake calipers. This was sort of expected, however, there is one bit that I think they missed, rear fender customization. And by that I mean the inability to retract the roof off of this convertible. Believe it or not, though it might be a custom car from Liberty Walk, it's still a McLaren 720S Spider, and just like the normal car in which we could remove the roof, this special one should have had that option as well, but I guess it was never added. Anywho, out of all of the Super Series McLarens in this game, this one is the most powerful, especially when upgraded to the max with 1300 horsepower. The pro settings for the car that you see here, I borrowed from a core. It gives the car more stability and less oversteer since it's so powerful, but it doesn't completely eliminate the oversteer. Not that it completely hinders the car at all, I should add. In fact, among all the McLarens in the game, including the P1 and the Senna, the Liberty Walk 720S is the fastest with a pretty average top speed, improved acceleration over the other McLarens, pretty good handling and agility, and very good nitrous power. And I'll be honest, I. I saw more of these in grand races than I saw the suspected new meta of the hypercar discipline, the Porsche 919 Street, more so because this car is a lot more predictable and a bit easier to handle than the Porsche, of which I'll get to in another video. Still, even with the 765 LT, Senna and P1s present in this game, it's this special Liberty Walk McLaren that tops the manufacturer as a whole. And if you need more confirmation that this car is actually really fast, here you go. A direct comparison between it and the standard 720S Spider, the Blast Edition, and the 765 LT.
as you can see the liberty walk 720s spider is up there with some of the best of hypercar at least in this setting still it further hits home the fact that we may never see a mclaren full-on vying for the top spot of any leaderboard in the crew motor fest at all the devs could add the 750s in the near future but that wouldn't really be any different from the super series cars that we've tested today the speed tail that car was purpose built for top speed so we don't know if it will handle well the w1 that car was only recently unveiled so it'll take a year or more until we see that car in action and we can only hope that Motorfest lasts as long as the crew too. In short, this is probably the best a McLaren will get in hypercar. As far as racing or touring car, there are a couple of GT McLarens that they could add, but who knows if any of the ones missing will completely shatter the meta. <music> Thank you.